not that one is better than the other but uh, we we see when women are leading teams they have um, a different style and we see men having a different style women also have what i would call a sixth sense and they make calls more carefully okay my name is marion mwangi i'm the managing director of boc gases i'm also a mother and um, a mentor to many many women As a woman leader, you have every glass, glass cliff, glass ceiling, glass everywhere. Um, and and, and those, those challenges are the ones that make us very, very deliberate leaders. And the ones that make us look for talent in the organization with young people, ladies and even young men. I enjoy reading a lot. I read as a, as a, as a daily habit. I also play golf, which is a wonderful sport uh, because of the beauty of, of all golf courses. I don't think there can be any golf course that would not have beauty. And uh, I play chess, as you saw this morning with, with my boys. And I also knit, which is actually quite uh, unknown um, as, as a way of relaxing and keeping my, my brain cells alive. I say this a lot is that I, I'm able to balance my life around work, uh, family, life, my health, my spirituality, my connectedness with friends and the way that I relax. So if I'm very, very successful, I'll have balanced my life around seven or eight parameters and one of one area in my life won't, won't take over my, my life. And that's a constant daily, daily uh, awareness and focus um, so that I can say that actually I've been a successful mom uh, which is a big priority for me and I've been a successful leader that have impacted people and society um, and, the, and without having lost who I am I'm still compatible with who, who I really am I think that because it's a very industrial role and it's a, it's a, a company where we, we manufacture uh, medical gases and uh, welding gases that, that really, really cover the economy and the commerce of, of Kenya. We really influence uh, big, big businesses and small businesses. And we also have quite a bit of impact on the businesses that women are beginning to start. We've got very, very competent engineering uh, young ladies who have started uh, good businesses in this in this pi piping piping business and welding and um, and repairs and also we influence healthcare quite a lot women are going to be very influential in the in the coming years they were definitely very influential last year and part of the reason why we do this sort of interviews is to is to remind women that actually even though we face so much difficulty their time will be easier and the belief in our in our capabilities and in our ability to impact society will continue to rise. I've thought about that theme in the last couple of days and I think the one thing that I would challenge is just the hesitation and the and the fear and doubt that, that women come with on the table. So this year I choose to challenge more women to feel that fear and do it anyway. So I choose to challenge doubt. I was a GM when I was 29 and that, that was a bad idea to, to appoint somebody as general manager at, at 29. But today when I think about it, it was actually a blessing in disguise. So I was appointed to a, a business that was, was, was struggling. And as soon as I got into the job, I knew that this business was, was going into, into decline phase. And what I said is actually I'm going to become so good at turning around businesses that are in decline phase that it should become what I'm known for. And I think I've established my career along the lines of a uh, turnaround CEO. For the young ladies is pursue your, your dreams one, one step after the other uh, because there's no shortcut to, to hard work and intention 
and uh, eradication of the things that you're afraid of there's really really no shortcut and uh, call upon other women many people say that women are not approachable but women actually are the most helpful uh, people in the, in career spaces when you when you approach them and ask them look I I need you to lead me in this way and they will lead you